Welcome to Wisdom Mind YouTube channel. The topic to be presented is win hearts with this simple practice, how to be liked by others. Let's keep listening. Still, I can remember this incident. When I was little, when I was at school, one of my teachers came to our noisy classroom and she asked from us, do you know why you have given two ears and one mouth? That she said, the reason why we have given two ears and one mouth is to talk less and to listen more. Ladies and gentlemen, when we deal with people in our relationship life, in your family life, in your workspace, if you have this quality of active listening, that can help you in many ways. This quality can help you in many ways. This quality can help you in many ways. Okay. Now so many people come to our temple and they talk with the monks with their problems and about their family problems, the problems in the workspace. And there's one thing that they all say, and that is, they say, they are not listening to me, they are not willing to pay attention to me, they cannot understand me, they cannot understand me. That is one thing that they say. So, if you have the art of active listening, if you practice the art of active listening, you will be liked by many people, right? People always like to talk with someone who is paying more attention to them, right? If you consider about the Buddha, Buddha was a great listener. At one time, one man comes up to the Buddha and he starts insulting, insulting him. Right, he start blaming him. All through that incident, the only thing that Buddha did was he listened to that person. Right, he paid a good attention to that person. And in another time, one lady comes with her son died and on her hand and she was wailing and she was lamenting in front of the Buddha. And the only thing that that he did was the Buddha did was he paid attention to that lady suffering, right? He listened to that lady suffering. So if you can practice this art of active listening, if you can listen more and talk less, people will start to like you remember that. For an example, if you come up to me, right? If you wanted to talk about a problem that you're having in your life, and from the beginning of the conversation, if I started to give you instructions and give you the advice and my opinions about that problem, what would you feel? You will start to think like, this monk cannot understand me. Me? This monk cannot understand me. He's not willing to pay attention to me. He's not willing to listen to me. So, practice this art of active listening. So how could, how can we practice the listening? Well, the Buddha said that all the words that we speak from our mouth is pre-processed in our mind. That means we think first all these words and then we put it into our mouth and we, we speak. So if we can be mindful about what we think, what is going on in our mind, then it is very easy to control what you speak. And then it is very easy to know when to speak and when not to speak. So this practice is called being mindful about the thoughts, is called to town or person or in Buddhism, right? For that, all the all, the only thing that we have to do is like just sit in a quiet place and just watch our thoughts. What comes to our mind? We don't want to react with that thought. We don't want to chase behind that thought. Just identify the thought as just a thought. That is one practice that you can practice to be a good listener. And also, there's another way to practice this listening ability, is to engage in conversations and try to listen more to that person. So in the next conversation that you're having, try this out. Go to someone, and if they wanted to talk with you, just from the beginning of the conversation, tell it to yourself that I'm going to listen to this person more. I'm going to pay attention to this person more. That is one way of paying and showing your love and affection to your party. The person that is in front of you, the person that is in front of you. Right. There is why lending a good ear and listening to someone and sharing their suffering or problems with them is one way of showing your compassion and love towards them. Okay, so in the next conversation, when you go through that, just listen more to them. Let them put out what is in their mind and when they go silent, and then you have to ask some more questions. Tell me, how did you do that, right? How it's happened, right? 
tell me more about the details that happened. Then they will be more interested in talking with you and they will start to like you and love you when you practice this, when then you will get used to this active listening, okay? And also remember, do not listen to someone just to reply to them or just to give and give your opinion to them. Always listen to people to understand about their situation, to understand who the person behind these, these words, and to understand the intention behind these words. When you do that, then you will become an active and a good listener, and then you will be liked by many people. So that is all about the active listening. Be mindful about your thoughts and listen more than you talk. Keep that in your mind. Number with the higher.